Another study, much less horrible, but still famous for its ethical issues, is the Obedience Study by Milgram. In this study on obedience to authority, Stanley Milgram tried to show that normal people will follow orders and do highly immoral things much more easily than we think. Participants were led to believe they were participating in a study on learning and memory, together with another participant, who was actually a confederate of the researcher. Participants were led to believe they were randomly assigned the role of teacher, responsible for teaching the other participant, referred to as the learner, who was in fact acting. The learner was seated in another room and had to learn word pairs, indicating responses using electronic equipment. The teacher, the participant, had to administer an electric shock of increasing voltage to the learner if the response was wrong. The electric shock started at a low, mildly irritating voltage. Participants received a shock themselves to convince them that the setup was real. The electric shocks increased steadily in voltage, reaching a dangerous level of 135 volts and a lethal level of 450 volts, as indicated on the machine. The shocks were obviously never actually received by the learner. But the teacher thought they were, and as the voltage level increased, the Confederate learner started shouting and banging on the wall and could be heard to complain about a heart condition. An experimenter was with the participant the entire time. If the participant expressed discomfort or refused to go on, the experimenter would say something like, the experiment requires you go on. The experiment was terminated if the participant administered the highest voltage shock three times or if the participant asked to stop five times. All participants showed extreme discomfort at having to administer the high voltage shocks. They fidgeted and protested and laughed nervously. But even so, in the original study, all participants delivered a dangerous shock of 135, and 65% delivered a lethal shock of 450 volts. Milgram's study was criticized for the deception involved, the extreme discomfort and the possible long-lasting negative effects on the participants' self-image. Participants had proven themselves capable of immoral acts under relatively mild pressure. Their behavior was compared to the atrocities committed by camp commanders in the Nazi concentration camps. In Milgram's defense, he did take great pains to debrief participants about the actual purpose of the study and the deception that had taken place. He also tried to minimize the damage to their self-image by explaining the relevance of the research findings for understanding human behavior under pressure.